Hello fellow materials, my name is JC, the mad scientist here for Team Polymerization. We're here with a box opening today with King's Court. We got a bunch of really exciting common and uncommon cards that we will have a good time with today. Of course, wanting one of the Pharaoh's rares or even collector's rares. I'm not very lucky, but let's see what we can get pulled out today. I personally, I'm really excited about the commons and the rares out of this set. I'm not necessarily a fan of shiny and holographic, but I know a bunch of you are. Let's get this open. That and I absolutely love the card art. Ooh, look at that. Super fancy. Getting professional up in here today. All right. Let's go with the left. Everybody seems to always start with the right. I'm a little bit awkward and peculiar so let's go that direction really love the card art waifu tax is definitely going to be a thing Ooh. we've got queen's knight dowsing fusion zolga the prophet for all of those egyptians out there cloud castle for those who have their heads in the clouds we've got king's knight majestic dragon and we got Thunder Speed Summon. Now this is gonna be a really good card for those individuals who are super excited about playing anything with a level 10 monster, especially the Egyptian gods. We'll just set that right there. Second pack on the left. Got a Dowsing Fusion again. Wind Up Arsenal. Pot of Duality. Some more Zolga. Majestic. Cloud, Crystal Girl. Now, I don't see that her parents were made of crystal, so she doesn't look that clear, but she's still pretty cool. If this card is normal or special summon, you can activate this effect. During the end phase of this turn, add one level five or higher water monster from your deck to your hand. If you control a level five or higher water monster and this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. So it's an extender, that's not too bad. It's also a spellcaster, which I'm pretty fond of. Pack number three. We got some Utopia, some Hope. We got some Stardust. Arcana Extra Joker, a nice reprint for those who don't want to spend a lot of money. Pendulum XC. Ties of the Brethren. We got some Wicked Eraser for some wicked mistakes. And Face Card Fusion. Now, I'm not as fond of the art on this card, but it's still really cool. Look at that, it looks really nice. Pack number four. We got a number zero, Utopic Future. Some more Hope, Eternal Bond, Queen's Knight, Pendulum XC, Golden Eyes Idol. Now this is one of the rares I'm super excited about. Like most fellow, oops, went ahead and shared that little card. We'll just keep that secret. We'll pretend it never happened. Now, like most fellow materials, I'm pretty fond of fusion mechanics in Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm also pretty fond of the tentacle monsters that come from this one very specifically. We'll just set this over here. And since I already went ahead and showed it, we got some Hyper Galaxy up in here. Just, I'm not necessarily a huge fan of Galaxy Eyes, but this is really good support. Slide that over. Next pack. And we'll try to see if we can hurry this up just a little bit. Another nice reprint. Arcana Knight Joker. Gravekeeper Spy. Chaos 39. Reinforcement of the Army. Unfortunately, not the Collector's Ray. We got a Baxi. Utopic Future. White Rose. Cloister? Not Cloister, but close to it. Let's see, what is this? It's a field spell. If you control no monsters, you can special summon one rose dragon monster or plant monster from your hand. Oh, okay, so it's rose support. You can only use this effect of white rose or cloister once per turn. During your draw phase, before you draw, you can declare one card type, monster spell, or trap. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it's the declared type, apply this effect for the rest of this turn. Level seven or higher synchro monsters you control gain 1,000 attack. So it's really neat, very gimmicky, but still really cool.
I won't lie. Looking for a collector's rare specifically for a very, very interested individual. We got ZW, Ultimate Shield. We got the bunny, Rescue Rabbit. We got some Dreadroot, Constellar uh, Promethea M7, Stardust, another Spy, and whoop, Magnet Induction. Now this is a very good card for magnets. If you control a Magnet Warrior monster whose original level is four or lower, special summon one level four or lower Magnet Warrior monster from your deck with a different name than the cards you control. Also for the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, Magnet Warrior and Magna Warrior monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or by your opponent's card effects. You can only activate one per turn. This is really good support for a very gimmicky archetype, but I think it's gonna do really good. Well, we can get the pack. Woo, didn't want to come off there. What do we got going on here? Queen's Knight, Duality. Well, we've officially got all three Wicked Avatar, or slash Wicked Gods, Wicked Avatar. ZW Eagle Claw, Rescue Rabbit. Infinite Cards, if only. Ooh, we got Joker Straight. Now, this is really, really good for the card set. Uh, the face cards, anyway. Let's see. Discard one card, special summon one Queen's Knight from your deck, add one King's Knight or Jack's Knight from your deck to your hand, then immediately after this effect resolves, you can normal summon one monster. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except light warrior monsters. That's a little drag as far as a restriction, but that's not the end of the world. During the end phase, uh, if this card is in your graveyard, target a light warrior monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, and if you do, add this card to your hand. You can only use each effect once per turn. That's a really good card. That's a really good card. Now, if you want some Slifer combos, this is a real good card for them. Everybody likes a little shuffle back into my hand from my graveyard. Next pack. Another Queen's Knight. Some more Duality. Another Wicked Avatar. Another ZW. Rescue Bunny. Another infinite cards and Ch Chaefong, Chaelong. I think it's Chaelong. I'm gonna set that to the side. There. We'll try to hurry this up just a little bit. Got a Spy, Utopic Ray, ZW Shield, Pendulum Transfer, Duality, Arsenal, Scrap Twin Dragon. Now this was sitting at a little bit of a price tag, but anything it had as far as a price tag now is gone. But pretty decent reprint. Whoop. ZW Leo Arms. Ooh, this isn't the collector's rare, but that would've been really nice. Rivalry of Warlords. Pendulum Transfer. Another ZW. Another Golden Eyes Idol. Wicked Avatar, and Fortune Tune for everybody who wants to run Zeus and be a prick. Here you go. <laughs> Let's see what we got going on in here. We've got Eternal Bond, Infinite Cards, Warrior Returning Alive, Covering Wishes, Unexpected Die, Constellar, Ooh, we got the Triumph Joker. So we got the Waifu Tax here, not in Collector Rare, but this is a really pretty card. Let's see if we can get a nice little focus on that. There we go. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can send one Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and Jack's Knight from your hand and or face up from the Monster Zone to the graveyard. Special summon this card. This card gains 500 attack times the combined number of cards in both players' hands. You can discard one card, destroy all face-up cards your opponent controls with the same type, monster, spell, or trap, as the di discarded card. So this is pretty gimmicky again, but still it's really nice for a, a board wipe if you happen to be going against a bunch of continuous traps or continuous spells, but mostly it's a monster wipe. Still really pretty. All right, we're almost done with the left side. Unexpected Die, Warrior Returning Alive, Jack's Knight, King's Knight, C 
co converging wishes. Baxi. Trendegel de Holes. Now, I am a fan of tentacle monsters, and that's exactly what this is. Fiend Flip Effect. Flip. You can send one spell slash trap card from your deck to the graveyard. This card is sent from your hand or deck to the graveyard. You can target one Trendangle monster in your graveyard, except Trendangle de Holes. Special summon it in face down defense position. You can only use each of the preceding effects of Trendangle de Holes once per turn. That's weird wording on a card. Trendangle's Link Monster that is used that used this card as material can make three attacks. Now that's really neat. There's a very interesting combo I've already got going on in my head with that one. All right, right side, boys and girls. Jax Knight, Ties of Brethren, ZW, Stardust, ZW again, some Leo Arms, ZW, another Fortune Tune. Another Prophet, Unexpected Die, some more Eraser, Tornado Bringer, Dowsing Fusion, some Dreadroot, and Joker as well. Now this is another card that has some really pretty card art. During the main or battle phase, send one spell, spell card from your deck to the graveyard that specifically lists all of uh, Queen Knight, King Knight, and Jack's Knight in its effect. Become that spell's effect when this card is activated. During the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard, target another light warrior monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, and if you do, add this card to your hand. More recursion, but a really nice card. Easily, easily one of the better cards out of this. And it's not the rarest. Whoop. We've got a Spy, some Utopia Ray, some Shield, some tr Pendulum Transfer, some Duality, some Arsenal, Another Thunder Speed Summon. We almost got a whole playset. That's not too bad, not too bad. Another Pendulum Transfer. Eagle Claw. King's Knight. Utopia. Zen Arsenal. Infinite Cards. Face Card Fusion. Well, if we need a playset, we're getting ready to be halfway there. Eternal Bond, Infinite Cards, The War of Returning Alive, Converging Wishes, Unexpected Die, Constellar, The Holes Once More. No Collector's Rare or Secret Rare yet. We can still hold out a little bit of hope. Eternal Bond, The War of Returning Alive, Majestic Dragon, Ultimate Shield, some more Cloud Castle, some Converging Wishes, and got a Rose Princess. Plant. All right, if, you're, if only your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. If special summon this way, treat this card as a tuner. Okay, that's pretty neat. You can only special summon Rose Princess once per turn this way. You can discard this card, add one white rose. Okay, this adds that field spell from the deck to the hand. All right, pretty neat, pretty neat. Queen's Knight, Dowsing Fusion, another Prophet, Cloud Castle, King's Knight, Majestic Dragon, and Court of Cards, another really neat card. I love the card art on this. Absolutely gorgeous. King looks pretty chunky right there, won't lie, those thighs. I thought Queen's Knight was supposed to be the one that had the junk. All right, if you control no monsters or only control Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and or Jack's Knight, you can special summon one Queen's Knight, King's Knight, or Jack's Knight from your hand or graveyard. You can banish up to one each Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and or Jack's Knight from your hand and or graveyard. Draw the same number of cards that you banished. Really gimmicky, pretty neat. I wouldn't say it's the best of cards, but I will say I love the card art. Getting close to the end. That one just did not want to let go. We got some Rescue Rabbit, Arcana Extra Joker, another Constellar, Wicked Dreadroot. Ooh, we got an Eraser with this one too. Golden Eyes Idol, look at that. We got a play set. 
Oh, look at that. We got Guilty Gear Free, the Magical Steel Knight. Now, this is a pretty interesting fusion. Not the best of fusions, but it's still pretty neat. Two warrior monsters with different attributes. So you can't do a straight all light fusion using your Arcana Knights. Once per turn, when a card or effect is activated that targets this card, quick effect, you can negate that effect. If you do, destroy one card on the field. So in other words, you want to target it with equip spells. Okay, understood. If this card was fusion summoned using only monsters on the field as material, it can make a second attack during each battle phase. Not necessarily a cyber twin, but close. Once per turn, if this card battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation, quick effect, you can banish one spell from your graveyard. This card gains attack equal to half its current defense until the end of the turn. So a little 800 bonus. It's not too bad, but really cool card. Looks like we got three packs left. Now if they'll just open up for us. That's what she said. All right. We got a Utopia, a Stardust, Arcana Extra Joker, Pendulum XC, Ties of the Brethren, Wicked Eraser, and Hyper Galaxy. Utopic Future, Pendulum XC, whoop, get back here. Arcana Knight Joker, Rivalry of the Warlords, Reinforcement of the Army, Baxia, another Crystal Girl. We got two packs left. Let's hopefully get our friend here, Collector's Rare, or even a Millennium, or not Millennium Rare, Pharaoh's Rare. Canaanite, Gravekeeper's Spy, Utopia Ray, Reinforcement, Baxia, Utopic Future, World Legacy Guard Dragon. A nice reprint, not what we're looking for though. Okay, here we go. Jax Knight, Ties of the Brethren, Tornado Bringer, Zhang Long, Eagle Claw, Leo Arms. Ah, oh, we got an XC Hyper Cannon. Well, it's not what we want, but still pretty neat card, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you the rundown of it. You must control an XYZ Dragon Cannon or a fusion monster that lists XYZ Dragon Cannon as a material to activate this card's effect. This card's effects depends on whose turn it is. Now that's different. Your turn, you can target one of your banished union monsters, place it on the bottom of your deck, and if you do, draw a card. Okay, little draw isn't too bad. Your opponent's turn, you can discard any number of cards that tar then target the same number of cards your opponent controls, destroy those cards. Well, that's, that's an effect, all right. That's one way to pitch a whole bunch of cards if you need to empty your hand, but targeting is not necessarily what we want these days. Well, this is what we got today, fellow materials. I hope that you remember to like and subscribe. Don't forget that uh, we've always got some interesting events going on here at Team Polymerization, and we hope to see you again soon.